simple video. Uh, we're talking about adjusting your auto air control valve on your Gen 3 LS. I'm pretty sure this is for 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, whatever, Gen 3 models. Uh, this is cable driven. I don't know if it's uh, the same for electronic or not. Um, but as you can see here, our auto air control is around 20%. Usually it runs about 30%. The normal operating range for that is anywhere from five to 10%. Uh, simple video, so first things first, your temp needs to be at least up to warmer temp. So whatever your truck, 160 to whatever your running temp is. Um, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna first you gotta cut your truck off. Come over here. Now, you basically, I gotta take this uh, cover off, and I'll show y'all here in a minute, but there's an adjustment screw here. To get it to go down, you're gonna turn it clockwise. Uh, to get it to go back up, you wanna do counterclockwise. We're gonna do them at like quarter or an eighth of a turn, and I'll show y'all that here in a second to kinda get it to go down. We're gonna try to get it to where we can run it anywhere from five to 10%. But when you turn it, every time you turn it before you start the truck, you have to go back into the Holly system and do a TPS relearn. And all, all it's gonna do whenever you do TPS relearn is it's gonna ask you to push the pedal down twice real slowly. It'll say complete, cycle it off, and then crank it back up. It'll start, and then you'll see the idle air control where the percentage is. So let me go get the tools and stuff. So most of your aftermarket throttle bodies are gonna have access to a set screw, usually on top right in here however if you don't you, you can tell there there isn't one but there is one if you flip your throttle here you'll see there's a set screw there right there underneath well on the underside of it i will need a t15 torx bit and we're gonna have to run the screw up to get the throttle to open just a little bit we're gonna turn it just a quarter turn and uh, go inside and uh, I'll show you the TPS relearn. But it's just simple. All you're doing is putting the T15 underneath and making the screw. You're gonna screw it up just a little bit, maybe a quarter turn if that. And go inside and I'll show you all the relearn. What I had to do was take this screw completely out, put it on the top side because it was already maxed out. So since I had to take it all the way out, put it on the top side, we're gonna start from scratch. So, like I said before, every time you turn that screw, you gotta go into the Holly Terminator screen here. You wanna go to the home screen, go to Wizards, TPS Auto Set, make sure your ignition is on, ignition is on. Slowly press the pedal to the floor twice. One. Two. Next, TPS auto set was successful. Done. I don't know if you really have to cycle it off, but I'm gonna cycle it off anyway. Go back in here. I'm gonna go to the monitor. Oh, back. Multi gauge sensors. We'll crank it up. I X at 44, oh, well, it even went up higher. So we actually gotta go, we gotta, since I put the screw on top, we gotta let the screw come out a little bit more to open up that throttle to make this go down. Because what this idle air control does is compensate for air. So if your throttle isn't open enough, it's pulling air, you'll see a, uh, a tube come out of the side of the throttle body, run down to the valve cover. What it's doing is it's pulling air and it's compensating and you don't want it to pull that much air which is why you want it five to ten percent because you want all your air coming from your uh valve on your throttle body so uh, we'll go in here and uh turn it again
Anyway, you're gonna turn that screw half a turn. My phone's gonna fall. So since my adjustment was now double what it originally was, I just went ahead and turned it one full turn out. So maybe it'll compensate for uh, the double the percentage I was before. So we're gonna go in here, do the TPS auto set again. Auto set was successful. And we're gonna do the same thing we did the uh, first time. Actually, you see it's starting to fall down. So we'll see if it'll go down to where it needs to be. And usually it runs about 30. Uh, before I did this adjustment, it usually runs about 30. Um, even just driving, like cruising, it'll do about 30. Very cold starts, it's like that is 100%. You don't want it 100%. That's, that's very bad, it's compensating for whatever. But uh, as you can see, it's slowly starting to fall where it needs to be. So uh, we'll see uh, if we can get it down to five to 10%. If not, all we're gonna do is now we're gonna go in there and uh, open that screw up about a quarter of a turn at a time now, since it's starting to fall pretty good. And uh, you wanna get it anywhere between five and 10%. All right guys, so the last uh, adjustment I did, it out of really good around five, four or five, and then it started slowly going down and it was running about zero, 1%. That is a uh, too high of adjustment on the screw, so the throttle body's open just a little bit too far. So I went back in there and barely uh, turned the screw back in to kind of close that throttle body just a little bit. And now we're gonna give her one more try here, and we'll see. Let's see where we're at. So whenever you first crank it up, of course, it's gonna it's gonna fall down. So it's gonna start wherever it is, and it'll slowly start to fall down here. It's not gonna be immediately where uh, it's supposed to be. So if you watch here. So it's slowly falling. I'm gonna fast forward the video here uh, to where it slowly gets to where it needs to be and then I'll start it back. So after letting it idle for just a second, it's slowly falling down. It's about 10 or 11% right now. Uh, again, you want it between five and 10%. Uh, it's a big cam. So I don't, I don't know how this is gonna react. It'll, I'm sure it'll be uh, moving up and down uh, constantly. It might be different for stock applications. Um, but yeah, you, you just wanna adjust that screw. And if you was like me, originally the screw was all the way up in there when because the screw comes in from the bottom. I couldn't tighten it up no more, so I couldn't open the throttle body. So I had to take that screw all the way out and put it in through the top and go from there and do a couple relearn processes. But super simple and uh, I kind of got it in the range where it needs to be. I may go back and just uh, slightly set that screw just a little bit. Um, but anyway, I mean, it's better than it was before. It was at 30% uh, originally. And now we're down to the five to the 10% where it needs to be. And so we're good. Anyways, uh, hope this uh, video helped you out. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you got any additional information about this, maybe for, uh, electronic versions or whatever, just drop a comment down in the video and uh, help other people out. Thank y'all, y'all have a good one.